Well, what a week it's been in the world of EV carnage. I appear to have finally arrived. Though I'm not quite sure of my destination and where I started off from. But I've got somewhere. I've uh, I've become some sort of official celebrity on Facebook, according to their stats. Even though they've put me in jail. And I've become an official YouTuber. All in the same week. I am now an official YouTube partner. So uh, thank you to everyone that subscribed to me on either channel. And um, hopefully plenty more of it to come. Um, in case you missed it, I have my first Mercedes Vito E this week. Videos are available. Needless to say, it was a pile of crap. Um, and the other video is me freezing to death in said Mercedes Vito E. Because I couldn't turn the heating on because it would have affected the range too much. And I wouldn't have got where I needed to go. So uh, in this current climate, what a wonderful thing a milk float is that you've got a choice of freezing to death or getting to your destination because you can't have both. What a wonderful, wonderful world we live in. Um, the last of the mugs have been sent out. If you haven't already got one, you can get one at evcarnage.com. I'm not a mug. I didn't buy a milk float. And of course, future my arse on the back. Um, and all the stickers have gone out as well. Oh, you mean stickers. There you go, look. I didn't really think I set this up. Um, and also, previewing, not even previewing, premiering tonight on uh, Jeff Boy's Cars YouTube channel is uh, the one where we sit in a car park for an hour and discuss how many decent cars you can buy for less than two grand instead of putting a deposit down on a milk float. Um, and the answer is loads, and they're really good. And we got that into it that I missed my train. So uh, it's worth it just for the bit where I miss my train. It's also worth it for the bit where I discuss my theory on Panama hats um, in partial shelves of cars. It's like a red flag. It, it's more serious than a red flag. But Panama hats in cars is bad. Um, but the two things that I'm here to talk about really are, uh, number one, Thank you to everyone that sent me all the Teslas that are currently frozen in America. Um, it's on Fox News. It's on CBS. It's on all the major news channels. So uh, it's not that something I'm making up. It's not misinformation. I'm not being an anti-milk floater. Over in Chicago right now, there are car parks full of Teslas because it's minus 10 over there. And they just won't work. They can't get them to go. And not only that, they can't get them to charge either. Because the batteries are too cold, so they won't even take charge. And there is Tesla owner after Tesla owner currently sat in Chicago wondering what the hell they're going to do with their 80 grand car that they bought. Because it won't work in cold weather. And Chicago gets quite cold for a long time every winter. It's not like a one-off. It'll be minus 10 over there for about three months. So if you've got a milk float, you ain't going nowhere. And you're going to do it in the cold. And it's going to be freezing. You can't even sit in it because it won't start, because it won't run, because it won't do anything. You can't turn the heaters on. I mean, if you did, you'd lose all your range anyway. So what would be the point of charging it up? It probably would use battery faster than it's being charged to keep the heated seats on. So uh, future my arse is very much evident in America. It would say future my ass, probably. And... Uh, not look the same on the stickers, but it do the same thing. So uh, right now in America, two things are happening. One, Teslas aren't working. Two, Ertz have recalled 20,000 Teslas and sent them back because their customers refuse to drive them. So uh, what's happening is what the bloke from Ford said all along. Um, we can build these things, but if people don't want them, they're not going to buy them. And that's happening. Which leads me on nicely to the next thing. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on the zero emissions vehicle mandate. Uh, you can look it up. And if you're looking for it, you just need to find the thumbnail that's got a picture of Rishi Sunak on it alongside little cousin Reggie from Roland Rat. When you see it, you'll know it. Um, the zero emissions vehicle mandate was something bought in a week after Rishi Sunak said that he was pushing back EVs from 2030 to 2035 as a compulsory thing. 
And uh, so a week later, he brought in this nice little piece of legislation. Basically, what it means is that as of 2024, i.e. now, all car manufacturers have to sell as a minimum 22% of their volume must be milk flutes. Anything under that, and then the petrol cars that they sell, they will have to pay a premium on of 15 grand. When it comes to vans, the percentages are slightly different. It's only 10% of vans have to be electric. They're going to struggle to get 10% electric vans, trust me, because they're in a decent van on the road. Um, and they only have to pay nine grand in fees. So what it means is, in a nutshell, and you'll notice this right now, you will be bombarded if, if you're like me and you uh, talk about milk floats and look at milk float videos, they will start sending you adverts for milk floats on Facebook, on YouTube, everywhere. And those adverts will be saying, get yourself a cheap milk float. And there was somebody the other day who went to a Lexus. I'm going to say Lexus. It might not be Lexus. Either way, they walked in there to buy a petrol car and were offered a milk float at 15 grand cheaper than they could buy the petrol one for because they're desperate to shift the volume. And the reason is because of the zero emissions vehicle mandate, where basically you've got car manufacturers now that if they don't sell 22% milk floats, they're going to have to pay 15 grand on top for every petrol one they sell. So therefore, they're going to give them away because it's better for them to give a milk float away. If a milk float's 40 grand and they give it away for 26 grand, they're still a grand better off than if they sold a petrol car. It's madness. And the whole car industry is about to go tits up this year because they're already worried that if they get to December and they haven't reached their quota, and let's say they've sold a million cars and they've sold 900,000 petrol cars and diesel cars and they've sold 100,000 milk floats, they're 100,000 short. So they're going to have to pay the government 100,000 times 15 grand. Uh, so that's 100,000 times 10 grand would be 10 million. For, so 15 million quid on top just because they haven't sold enough milk floats. So the car industry is about to have a revolution in this country in one way or another. I don't even know which way it's going to go. But if you're a car dealer and you know that by December you've got to up it by a certain percentage... You need to start now because you can't afford to be in December chasing your tail, having to register 10,000 milk floats just so you don't go bankrupt. It's mental. Um, and at the moment, according to the official figures, 16.5% of all cars sold in 2023 were milk floats. they got to get that up to 22%. Milk float sales are going down, not up. And they've got to get it up by 5.5%. And they've got to do that by the end of the year. So not only have they got to get sales back to where they were, they've now got to get it over and above that by another 5.5%. So the whole milk float industry is going to be very interesting for the next year, as is the petrol industry. So what's going to happen? I don't know. But I'd like to say I told you so. Um, I'm just not sure what I told you so of, apart from the fact that milk floats are crap and uh, that they're not the future because uh, if they were, future my arse wouldn't be a catchphrase. So um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for making me some sort of minor fat celebrity. And uh, thanks for buying the mugs and the stickers. And they are still available on evcarnage.com. And um, onwards and upwards. Tune in at 8pm tonight to Jeff Buys Cars on YouTube for the world premiere of... Jeff Boy's Cars and evcarnage.com do two grand cars. Future my arse.